first time. Behind me is the school we'll be working with today, Echo Diné School, and we're going to be building bird boxes with these kids. It's our last day of our tour, so we're going to make it a good one. Let's go. Because this is an awesome program. This is like this is like stewardship at the grassroots level, keeping it real for the kids. They're involved. They understand what oil and gas is in their community and how great it can it can benefit their community. And we're, we're behind 100%. It puts a face behind who's out there. But I also like learning about the birds. And that's another thing. These kids are so culturally aware when it comes to nature. The kids were really interested, especially with the, the little um, uh, slideshow there from Andrew. Well, you know, I honestly do believe it makes a difference. You know, every young person um, has an opportunity to make a difference and to help their environment. Take a quick look at these books. It becomes a larger community. You know, it expands. It's not just our little hamlet. It makes me realize there community is larger than just this little spot that we all work together. I mean, I think in this last decade, you've really seen companies reach out there and trying to affect positive change at, at a grassroots level. Without the grassroots connections, we lose focus on how we're just part of a larger society. You know, this is, this is like participatory action learning at its finest right here. This could have taken me like three weeks to teach. I think it kind of condensed it and made it so, you know, realistic to the children. Young people are the answer. They have the, the passion and the drive and they're looking for ways to make a significant contribution. So, I'm just trying to return the favor. And CAP is, of course, an ideal group to partner with because they're working hard on all sorts of environmental stewardship everywhere I look. I see they know the technology, the level of commitment, the innovation increasing constantly. It's, it's one of these impressive stories, and so it's just it's a natural fit. What a difference a day makes. Well, that is a wrap. Energy in Action 2012 has officially come to a close, and it has been an amazing tour and an amazing day in Fort Liard. And I am so, so thankful for everybody who has come out, all of the industry companies, all of the community companies and volunteers, all of our volunteers and CAP. I'm so thankful for all the support that we get year after year. This program is huge. It's going to be big. We are really excited for the future of this program. So thank you so much. It's been a great season, and we will see you all in 2020.